Good morning, Talmadge High School. We're glad you tuned in for today's show. Now, you're probably wondering both what this show is and, more importantly, why your teachers are making you listen to us right now. Well, let's just start by introducing ourselves. I'm Philip Glasser. And I'm Vaughn Richards. And this is Talmadge TV. <laughs> now, most of you have heard about Talmadge TV, but those who haven't, here's a quick overview. Talmadge TV is basically a student-run news organization to help keep you guys connected. And we're going to be broadcasting every single Monday in place of your guys' regularly scheduled announcements. We'll keep you up to date on all of your announcements. Oh, and that reminds me, if you want to have an announcement placed in the bar below, you can email us. And while you're at it, follow us on our Twitter account, at Talmadge underscore TV. All right. Speaking of announcements, how about we take a look at what's going on this week here at THS. Any student interested in serving as a writing center coach should see Ms. McCaleck in room 1617. Not sure if you could be a coach? Stop by and get more information. Free training is provided. Do you like a challenge? Are you up for a big challenge? The Talmadge High School Academic Challenge Team will be holding its first meeting this Wednesday, August 30th, during C Academy. Bring a friend, test your knowledge, and prepare to have some fun. Can't wait? See Mr. Hungerford in room 1607 for more information. The Student Senate Members Meeting will be Tuesday, August 29th during A Academy in room 1436. Upcoming events and sign-ups are available. Leaders in Action applications are now available in the Guidance Office. Sophomores and juniors interested in service and leadership should apply by August 31st. On Friday, September 1st, the new Student Luncheon will be in the Community Room during B and C Academy. All new students to Talmadge are invited to a pizza lunch and get to learn more about getting involved at THS. And this concludes today's announcements. Wow, looks like there is a lot of ways for Talmadge students to get involved. You want to know the best way to get involved? What's that? Sports! Each week, we will do a quick score report of the games from the previous week, while also informing you on the schedule for this upcoming week. We want to make sure that all of our Blue Devils teams are accounted for and shown love. So, to quickly recap last week's games. The boys and girls varsity golf teams unfortunately each suffered a loss last week, along with the girls varsity volleyball team losing to a very small margin against Hudson. However, just prior to this set of games, the girls' varsity volleyball team achieved victory against Buchtel, along with both the boys' varsity soccer and football teams bringing home a win for this week. Let's go, Devils. Now it's time for this upcoming week's schedule. Coming up this week, there's a cross-country match on the 30th at 5.30 at Wingfoot Lake Park and another match on September 2nd at 9 o'clock at Silver Creek Metro Park. There'll be a girls' soccer game on the 30th at 7 o'clock at Aurora. We also have a boys soccer game on the 29th at 7 o'clock against Aurora. We have three girls tennis matches, a home match on the 29th at 4.30 against Kenmore Garfield, a home match on the 30th at 4.30 against Kent Roosevelt, and the last one on the 31st at 4.30 at Stowe. For golf, we have a girls home match on the 29th at 3.30 against Kent Roosevelt, and a boys home match the following day at 3.24 also against Kent Roosevelt. We have one volleyball match coming up this week, a home match against Aurora on the 29th at 7 o'clock. And finally, this week's football game will be at Ellett High School at 7 o'clock. Speaking of the football game, here's Cameron Canuti to give you the student section theme for the week. Hey guys, I'm here at Cocoa Beach ready to bring you guys this next week's theme. Brought to you by me. This week's theme is beach. Make sure you guys come out to Ellet this week and support the boys. Thanks, Cam. Now, let's check out the weather for this week. Wow, those clouds better not spoil our Friday night. Yeah, that's true, but did you end up seeing the weather for today? What's so important about the weather for today? Well, it's, it's not like the weather, but it's actually just more about the day itself. We have Zach Boyd here to tell you just a little bit more on Did You Know? Did you know that on this day, August 28, 1963, one of the most famous speeches in the history of the United States took place in this very spot? Martin Luther King Jr.'s iconic I Have a Dream speech rocked the U.S. with its forward thinking.
With all the conflicts and turmoil our country is facing at the moment, let us not forget all of the ideals and morals Dr. King fought for and also unfortunately died for. We need to make sure we cherish these rights and freedoms to keep Dr. King's legacy alive. Well, if you didn't know that, you do now. Back to you guys. Thanks, Zach. That is a great piece of history, and it also marks the end of this Talmadge TV Whoa, broadcast. Whoa, aren't you forgetting about something? No, no, we got announcements, we got sports, we got weather, we got did you know. And? That's it. Scott Seeker, we have him at Mount Rushmore right now for How Great Is America. Oh, yeah. Scott. It's pretty great. Back to you. Thanks, Scott. Hopefully next week we will have an anchor that won't forget about you. All right, you know what, Phil? It's been a long first day, all right? Are we done with the show now? Yes, we are, Vaughn. Yes, we are. Sounds good. I'm Phil Glasser. And I'm Vaughn Richards. And this has been Talmadge TV. Be incredible. And we'll keep on being credible. Stay tuned for next week.